Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title It's a video on why I feel like crochet hair is your best option for your vacations, for your swimmings, for your cruises, for any kind of water activity or maybe not even a travel destination that involves water. These today are going to be the top reasons why I feel like crochet hair is the best option for these. Now, I made this video about two years ago. Again, I skipped 2020 for the most part when it dealt with anything vacation friendly when it dealt with crochet hair because I didn't want to rub salt in the wound because I knew what nobody going on no vacations and travels in 2020. But as the world slowly opens back up this 2021, I wanted to make today's video to remind you guys because y'all might have been asleep a little bit. Just because it's been two years, y'all might have took a little breakity break in between and took a little sleep and forgot why crochet hair slaps the way it slaps but I'm here to remind you don't you worry about it now today's video I'm gonna go through about seven good reasons why I feel like it's the best now you may not agree with this but you have so many options when it comes to how you gonna wear your hair for a vacation yeah you can wear your natural hair go ahead and do your natural hair thing but I saw this TikTok on the internet the other day that perfectly summed up why I feel like you know natural hair may not be the best bet now say you swimming in a pool you somebody who who's an avid swimmer. I'm somebody who took swim lessons in 2016, so anytime I see a pool, sometimes I have that urge to wanna dip my head in below the sea and kinda swim around. Just kinda swim around, stretch out my sea legs a little bit. But you do so, and you get out the pool, your hair looking beautiful, looking beautiful right out. Then it dries a little bit. And you have that natural hair situation going on. It don't look so cute immediately following. Now, you can go back to your hotel room, you know, freshen up, spruce up, get yourself together. Might take a few hours. But that's why I don't necessarily feel like natural hair is the best vacation option. I'm all for your natural hair wearing it out, but not for your swim vacation situations. Now, partial sew-ins, you know, you got a partial sew-in. I used to love a good partial sew-in. That's who I was. That was in my bones pre-2016. The reason I started my channel was because I learned about crochet hair, but before that I was a partial sew hand girl and I wanted to again scratch out my sea legs I use myself as an example for why this isn't the good case because well you get in the water everything's going well you get out the water the hair dries and your own hair dries and most of the time the matching the textures ain't matching the textures ain't matching so you got to spend some time putting them textures back together so they kind of mirror each other and even me being natural sometimes it's not a hundred percent crisp the way it was before so yeah you, you look crazy sometimes you look a little bit crazy and even with the full sew in you might be like don't leave no hair out then that'll alleviate it the thing is bundles take a while to dry they take a long time to dry. They don't dry as fast as crochet hair. Crochet hair dries within minutes. That hair, you've seen it. You've seen the little mechanisms they have for drying off bundles. You gotta let it sit for about an hour, let the hair blow all around to get the bundles, you know, good and dry. Like I've gone to my stylist one time and she was dyeing my bundles for me. She was like, I thought it was gonna be dry time. Let me put it in a dryer so it'll dry for a little bit. So she put it in a dryer, put a little towel over. She was letting them things dry. It takes a long time for most bundles, you know, human hair bundles to dry dry not the case with crochet hair you dry instantly fast seconds minutes if you will and then you may be saying why not just wear a swim cap now okay yeah yeah you, you got me there swim caps is good and all for protection you want to look cute swim caps mess up the style they take you back to the 60s and 70s you still want to look cute you want to look Ariel in the pool this is your swim cap crochet hair is your swim cap so today I'm gonna tell you why you gotta go with crochet hair you just got to for any vacation it do not have to be water friendly only any vacation this is your helmet of salvation in them waters my first reason it goes without saying it's low maintenance on your vacation situations again I'm not gonna tell this story but so many times on this channel because I need y'all to understand this channel only exists because of crochet hair and me learning about it for a water situation there would be no me talking to you without vacation and crochet hair mixing with each other we, we would not be communicating this way it's so low maintenance I went on a cruise my best friend we were both trying to figure out what we were gonna do for our cruise it was June of 20 or July of 2016 tried the free trust deep twist and loved it but my friend was like what am I gonna wear on my cruise like she was natural too it's like what what do we do so she got a full sew-in full sew-in looked amazing 
worked well. But again, the drying time was so long. You know, we would go out, we would sit in a pool, me and her, I don't start a picture of it. Her hair looked gorgeous, it looked beautiful. But again, the drying time is a little bit longer with that. With this, no drying time really. And when I got back on the ship, all I had to do, rinse this hair out a little bit, you know, dries instantly fast, lay my edges down, and I'm off to do the next thing. If it's dinner, if it's another excursion, whatever the case may be, I'm good to go for my next round of adventures. It's solo maintenance. With every other style, most of the time, you're gonna have some lag time between getting yourself back together. Again, with bundles drying time, with your natural hair, it could be, oh, now I gotta put it back in a bun, I gotta put it back in a hairstyle. You don't gotta worry about the maintenance when you have a crochet style. You have no maintenance if you choose the right hair. Again, don't just choose any hair. Don't just look at this hair that I have in right now, say I'm gonna choose that hair. I haven't even made my assertion on whether this is water friendly. You gotta check out my water friendly hair video of 2021. I'll link that up above. You can't just walk into a store willy nilly and say she said crochet hair works, therefore this hair will work. That's not how this works, girl. That's not how this works. You gotta choose the right hair to be low maintenance. Because some hair is high maintenance in land. So therefore it's gonna be high maintenance under the sea. There are some hair that is low maintenance on land and under the sea, and those are the hairs that I feel like you should try. Those are the ones I try to gear y'all towards. The next reason is this natural looking. Do people think this is my real hair? Sometimes, depends on the person, sometimes they do. Sometimes they have no clue. But sometimes with other hairs, it looks like a twist out. It looks like my real hair just blown out. It looks like my real hair in just another twist out, braid out, wash and go type situation. Choosing the right hair, it can look very natural look at it. and that's what we want with most of our hair now sometimes people do you know the wigs that are super platinum blonde or rainbow colors they're they're not trying to make it look realistic you know people know it's 2021 people know we wear our protective styles they know our box braids some people don't but they see our hair down here one day see our hair back up to here they'll be like you cut it you know we, we got those people out there in the world but for the most part people know we're doing elaborate styles but with some crochet styles it's a question is that her real hair you know, sometimes you'll see a side by side of me. I'll put a picture of me with a twist out, I'll put a picture of me with a crochet hair. Is it obvious I'm wearing a crochet hair? It may be to y'all, y'all been familiar with my channel, but for the most part, sometimes it's some confusion. Because if you again choose the right hair, you can have a natural looking crochet style. Now my number three reason, whole reason again, I got this channel is because you can get it wet. Again, you can get your real hair wet. You can get a sew in wet. You can get your swim caps wet. However, you can get this wet too. I went to the beach about two weeks ago. You saw my vlog. I went into a lazy river and we went to a hot tub. It was a little cooler outside, so we stuck into the inside things. Both times I got the hair wet, got the hair soaking wet. It dried super fast and it got wet and I'm still here two weeks later wearing the hair. You know, most times you feel like, oh, it got wet. Yeah, I gotta take it out now. Nope, I've been still chilling here for two weeks. I'm gonna wear it for an additional one more week. So for a total of, I think five weeks, I will have worn this hair and it got wet. Don't worry about the wet situations with, again, the right hair. Not every hair can withstand that. Some hair you get wet, you need to take it out immediately. Watch my video so you know which hair make that list. Don't hex in this video because I have multiple videos where I tell you what hairs. If you seek it, you will find what I talk about when I say the right hair. But for the most part, you can get a majority of them wet, they're gonna dry super fast, and you can go on about your business when you on your vacation. Back in the day, you on vacation with somebody and you have somebody push you into a pool, you get somehow knocked into a pool, something happened, somebody jumps in the pool, there's a big splash, hair, water comes out, you heat it. Cause you ain't have no intentions on your hair getting wet. I remember, I was that person back in the day, I'd be at a pool, trying my hardest not to get wet, somebody does a kabloom, a little kid, little five year old kid running around, does a splash, and you already sitting over here like, I had no intentions on getting my hair wet, I was just putting my feet in the side of that pool, and I was not trying to get my hair wet. But this little monster then did something, you ain't gotta worry about them little monsters. You good to go with this option. Number four, you do not have to get your hair freshly done to go on a trip. In the past, you feel like you got a big trip coming up, you go get your hair done. Maybe a few days before, maybe the week before, but fairly close to your trip date you typically got your hair done because again you want to look fresh on your trips whether it's a family vacation a friend vacation a bay vacation you just want to look good before the vacation you ain't got to do that with crochet hair you ain't got to do that again before I went on my trip that started this whole channel my first ever video was I think a week before my trip I had that free trust deep twist go check out that video laugh if you must that's my first ever video judge it how you want to judge it 
but I was whispering because I didn't know I was gonna be a YouTuber. I didn't want my roommate at the time who I was going on my cruise with to know that I was talking to a camera and I might make it a thing. It might be a thing. But in that video, it was, I believe, two weeks before I was going on the cruise. So I had gotten the deep twist because my friend said it was gonna work for a trip. I trusted you, Sasha. I trusted you and you did not steer me wrong. But I got it done two weeks before. I got my hair done before my last trip a week before. Typically I do like a week before now just because I have a channel. But if I didn't have this channel, I wouldn't feel no type of ways if it was two weeks before, three weeks before, you know, four weeks might be pushing it because my hair grows out a lot at the top. Since I don't braid the tightest, my hair grows out at the top. So maybe not four weeks because then I have a lot of new growth up here. But you know, I wouldn't mind two to three weeks before going on a trip, getting my hair done and getting going on a set trip. This is not a situation where you gotta have a fresh style and you feel like, oh, I'm gonna look crazy if I don't get my hair done right before the trip. You ain't gotta worry about that with this. The number five reason you should go with this, you're not switching styles on vacation. You're not switching styles. You're not going with straight hair one day, crimps the next day, curly hair the next day, wet and wavy the next day. You, you're not, unless you're some kind of, you know, you stylist, you a model, you on a shoot, you doing different looks, maybe then, but why wear your real hair? Why wear sewing? With a sewing, yeah, you may wanna straighten your hair, you may wanna wear it wet and wavy, you might wanna do curls for the elegant night on the cruise, whatever you wanna do, but for the most part, this is it. Again, some people's gripes with crochet hair is it's not versatile. You're looking the same way day after day after day. But for me, that's a plus. I don't mind looking the same day after day after day. It's a win for me. People complain for me. I hear bells are ringing. I'm like that happiness to my ears when I hear that I can look the same every single day. That's a good pro for this hair is that you're gonna look every single day consistently. Again, if you choose the right hair, you gonna look consistently good Monday through Friday of your week long trip. Or you know, if you're doing a weekend Friday to Monday of your of your long weekend vacation trip, you're gonna look the same. So you you know your pictures is gonna look fire. You do a side photo, fire, fire, fire. Again, have this hair in for four weeks at this point, three or four weeks at this point. Again, fire. I like the consistency of knowing that my pictures are gonna be fire when I take them. I don't want no volatility of I, I came down with my sewing, how my hair gonna look Tuesday, and how it's gonna look Wednesday. I don't like that. I like knowing that it's gonna be fire every frame of every shot. And the sixth reason is it's inexpensive. This is an inexpensive look. Now, people are gonna come on this video and say, well, why not just wear braids? Braids has been the quintessential vacation hair. Back in the day, you get your micros, your box braids. Nowadays, you got your passion twist. Back in the day, too, you used to have kinky twists. People loved them kinky twists back in the day. But now you got your, your passions, you got your bomb twists, you got your locks, you got your, um, what else do they have? The butterfly locks. You got so many options now. Then it's like, Leah, Leah, get out of the crochet hair phase. We got many uh, options for your vacation. The braided styles win this category. But do they? Braided styles can be expensive sometimes. I remember me making my micros time. I only got micros one solid time in my life. I got invisibles a second time. I've only done that two times in my life because I didn't have the patience to sit in that chair. I was like, my mom dropped me off and she came pick me up. It was nighttime. It was nighttime time it was daylight and nighttime we watched several movies during the span movies not tv shows we watched movies while i was getting my hair done at one point two people were in my head time consuming and costly again i ain't paid for that my mama, my mama helped me out this was in my my youth days this was in my youth days but my mama you know paid i i feel like it was like well 180 180 or so for the micro braids and yes they lasted quite some time but you know in my pictures every time i took a photo in the micros i felt like a model i did a whole modeling shoot back in my day i don't certain pictures right now my whole modeling shoot because i was feeling myself with the micro braids and your girl was into photography even 12 plus years ago the time consumption of it and the spending cost of this this what cost me just cost of hair of course because you know DIYer over here but cost of hair $40 opposed to 160 sitting in a chair for so many hours box braids are cute box braids are gonna last you yes box braids are going to be a style that you can be able to wear on your beach vacation but again this gives me a ethereal look this gives me a vibe who doesn't want a loose hair I love a good braided style you guys are probably like why you never did one on this channel because 
Again, there's no thrill in trying to box braid style. I know it's gonna last. I like the thrill of knowing whether a hair is not gonna last or not. I love putting a hair in and being like, fingers crossed this goes well, or bringing to you guys, save your money, y'all. Y'all see this pack in the store, run from it. Because I have no dog in the fight with anything that y'all buy. So I love being able to try hair and give my opinions on the hair that I try for you guys. So it's inexpensive. I don't want y'all spending tons of money. If y'all have a cousin, again, my first ever style was installed by my best friend Sasha's cousin, Janique shout out to you you should have charged me more because you started a whole thing you probably should have charged me like $60 I would have paid that gladly she charged me somewhere below 40 and again less than a hundred dollars for a hairstyle that lasted me and launched this channel I say great return on investment for that now some tips I wanted to end this video with some tips and tricks for your vacations because you're like okay I already know what hair to wear because I watched your rankings video of your top hair for beaches I know why I need to do it but what are my tips when I'm in the situation what do I need to know when I'm in the situation with my crochet hair tip number one again going back to what I just said I watched my best hair for vacations I'm not trying to steer you wrong with that video that video is trying to give you the best options of hair now if you want to just say hey I want to pick at random that's cool but do not pick a heavy hair that's my next tip just don't pick a heavy hair again you want something very lightweight my hair in right now is very lightweight I tell you in my videos whether I feel like a hair is holding me down or very lightweight for the most part I feel like 90% of my videos a hair is very lightweight and I tell you that but there are those times there are those like 10% where hair you know is sometimes a little bit heavy on me my shoulders hunch a little bit over my back feels a little tight I'm feeling like I'm wearing a crown on my head. Um, definitely go with a lighter hair when you're going on your vacations and your travels. You don't want a hair that, again, is going to feel like it's, it's wearing you down because when you do get it wet, again, it dries super fast, but there is that little bit of time where, you know, you feel like you have wet hair in your head and you, you just don't want to be, again, bogged down with a wet, heavy helmet. Braidless for swimming. I get a lot of questions about braidless styles. Well, I don't do more braidless styles on this channel. The reason I don't is because my channel is about reviewing hair for a long period of time. Sometimes I don't think you can get five to six weeks of wear out of a braidless style. Unfortunately, I don't think a braidless style is the best option for your travels and your water situations. I think just because I've seen so many braidless styles videos, so many people do it so many different ways. The thing about it, when you do dunk your head in water, if you get your hair wet, it's going to poof up. Where braid, braids, like solid braids, you know, your real hair may get poofed up a little bit, but it doesn't change the overall like density of your hair and your volume doesn't get bigger. Yeah, when you do a water situation with a braidless style, when your hair is wet, it might be all good. When it starts drying, your real hair starts to take a different form. It starts to take a life of its own and you really just don't want that. So I'd say if you are thinking about going on vacation with a crochet hair, just take the extra step and get a braider. Just get somebody to braid your hair down. Crochet hair installers are very cheap depending on your area. I know there are people in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I am, who charge $85. $85, very affordable. Don't take the risk of watching like a braidless style say, I can do this and I'm going to go on my trip and it's going to be fabulous. Maybe, maybe it'll be all right, but I I definitely say when you come back home take that take the hair out take the hair out and just get your hair washed and do all that stuff with it because it's, it's just difficult a little bit with a braidless style the next tip I say is bring a headband bring a headband why do I need a headband you may ask um, because when you do get your hair wet you, you dip your hair in that water you jump out of that water your edges if you're somebody like me who my edges are not out out but they, they, they peek through a little bit your edges they gonna they gonna want to be reverting a little bit they want to be back where they was they ain't this crochet here they'll do whatever they want to do so if you're somebody who's like again when my first ever cruise we went to Atlantis we did the excursion my first ever cruise we decided to do all the excursions that we could we did one on each we went to Freeport we went to Nassau Bahamas so we went to Atlantis now the thing about an excursion is you're off the ship for a while you you can go back on the ship I, or I don't know if I could have or not. You probably could have, but you don't want to. You want to experience this, the time off the boat if it's from 9 to 3, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and you don't want to have to go back. But if you do get your hair wet, you know, this gonna look a little different. Just bring you a little tropical. They have so many headbands. You can bring one that kind of matches this, whatever you want. Bring a little headband so that you can put it around the edges so that when you get back on the ship, you know, you wash your hair out and you get back to the land of your edge controls, you can blend where you want to blend and everything can be become aesthetic, but when you're off the ship or you're off of whatever you're doing, Again, if you, this is a cruise ship example, but in anything you're doing, if you're away from your room, if you're swimming at the beach, if you're swimming in a pool, and say again, you wanna take some photos, you're a photo person, you know, you don't want this to look a little crazy, 
just put a little hairband on. Also, bring a little bit of oil for your scalp too, like a little bottle of oil. You know, the ones that have the little dropper so you can go in between your braids. Your, your hair does tend to dry out a little bit, your natural hair. That's what you wanna make sure you're giving your natural hair, your real hair, the, the hair that's up under the crochet hair, if you care about it. I hope that you guys who watch me care about your real hair. Sometimes you got those people who say, I don't care about it. I'm just wig it up, crochet hair it up, and that real hair means nothing to me. But if it means something to you, make sure you put it, bring a little bit of oil in between because your real hair will get a lot drier again if you are exposed to even the sun and the, the water situation of a beach situation so again put some oil in that scalp as well as bring you a braid sheen spray now it doesn't matter what the braid sheen spray is this is the african pride braid sheen spray what you really need this for is because sometimes with crochet hair if you do get it wet repetitively depending on the hair again not all hair is created equally but if you get a hair wet repeated times depending on the hair it'll dry out a little bit and what you want is to return some of that luster to the hair so braid sheen spray just br spray a little bit on it to restore the luster you know not a little bit you probably going to spray a, a lot of bit just quite honestly just because sometimes again pools will strip it strip the hair of its luster so your hair will look a, a very dry now you don't want a super shiny hair in general but you just don't want a super dry hair either like a dry hair can look icky sometimes so bring you a braid sheen spray on your vacations and again not with a lot of hair the last hair that i tried that dream romance curl by rasta free that hair i don't think would need any braid sheen spray I think getting it wet only helps enhance the hair a little bit and it takes away some of that shininess that that hair can have initially anyway so getting it wet only helps the situation but some hair like this hair it dealt well with having a little bit of braid sheen spray so yes those are my reasons why I feel like crochet hair is the best option for you now if you agree with this video give it a big thumbs up even if you don't agree with it still give it a big thumbs up we want all the love and support over here on this channel make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss anything that we do over here and make sure that you have that notification bell on so you don't miss anything that I do over here. I got some vacations coming up soon. And I'll be vlogging says vacations. And you're not going to want to miss that. You know, my last vlog, I, I kept it a little demure because I ain't want to be all up in my friend's business. But my next few trips are going to be some solo trips coming up. And I'm going to show y'all all the good stuff. And I'm going to show you all the good hair that I bring your way over the next coming months. So you want to stay locked in and notified when that does happen. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at leolevon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Private show, you don't know. Vicky's bad man, punk instrumental, giving you one time.